Really, it's really compliant fi uh, financing is its own um, product category, let's call it. Um, and uh, it may or may not interact with conventional finance, but that's not necessarily very important. Uh, meaning that Sharia compliant financing is a huge industry that can service a new uh, sector uh, for investors as well as corporate and government um, bodies. What it will do is it will give options to investors and also options to the corporate sector and options to the government sector uh, to diversify the, their portfolios, to tap into liquidity management tools uh, and so on and so forth. Um, but what it will do is diversify the economies of the region. The main challenges in Islamic finance, Sharia compliance, will be in transparency in the industry, uh, will be with standardization to a certain extent, uh, and with development of talent to support the growth of the industry. And we're looking at an industry that has a potential size of about $4 trillion, but that does not have the educational infrastructure to support the knowledge uh, generation needed for the industry. So that's going to be key going forward. Uh, people are concerned about standardization. People are concerned about their ability to access products across jurisdictions. Uh, people are concerned about um, stability in the way that Sharia scholars uh, behave. Uh, people are concerned about um, uh, you know, performance of Sharia-compliant products as well. So all, some, some of the issues they're concerned about are similar to the conventional finance uh, world, and some, of course, are particular to this stage of maturity in the development of the Islamic industry. In any industry you look at, there always will be a multiplicity of um, standards. Um, even when there is one dominant one, there will still be alternative standards that, that operate or that are being used. I mean, in the accounting industry, for example, you can look at IFRS versus uh, US GAAP or UK GAAP and so on. Uh, in the technology industry, it could be uh, uh, in the internet protocols of TCP, IP and uh, other protocols and so on. In the Islamic finance industry, also will have, we believe, a parallel or uh, analogous development in terms of the standards being used. Uh, there will be, we believe, a dominant standard, yes, that, and that dominant standard would be defined as the standard that is simply being used the most uh, because it is, um, um, has uh, most popular products developed under it. But there will always be other uh, interpretations, uh, other regulatory structures, uh, or other Sharia standards that will also form a part of the industry. Well, Islamic finance is very unique, and the Sharia standards can be considered their own kind of regulatory uh, environment. Um, conventional finance has its own um, history and uh, track record that the Sharia compliant finance is now starting to build, and, uh, to build its own track record, its own precedents, its own standards that could be widely adopted or accepted all over the world.